Yo, what is going on guys? JRed52 here, and today is the next game for the NCAA Basketball 10 March Madness Tournament for the 2020 NCAA Tournament. And the next game that we have up in store is number 4 seed Oregon versus 13 seed New Mexico State. Now, New Mexico State is obviously known for their upsets as they've had quite a few back in the day, like in the early um, last decade of the NCAA tournament. So they could be an upset team to watch out for. They could beat Oregon, but we'll find out soon enough. So let's see who wins today's game between Oregon and New Mexico State. Oregon's got a 5-6 guy starting in their lineup. Interesting. And New Mexico State's got some good size. So this should be a really good game in store today. And Oregon wins the tip-off. Driving in. And Oregon scores the quick bucket. Going into this game, New Mexico State, their attributes were really high, but that honestly doesn't mean anything because Kansas had higher attributes than Siena, and Kansas lost. So we'll see what happens in this game. Pick and row action, and a foul, and they're going to go to the free throw line as Jonathan Gibson. Picks up his first foul. First free throws up. It's a miss. Second one is up. It's a miss. And Oregon's coach is angry. Finally, we see some sort of emotion out of a coach. Seems like all the coaches in the game have been dead inside. Playing some tight defense. Giving it to the big guy. He gets the ball back. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oregon pushing the ball up. Going inside. Jump shot. That's a miss. Going for a three. Splash. Nothing but net. As Shaq would say, yakum. New Mexico State takes the early lead. See if Oregon can respond back. Three of their own. Splash! Back-to-back -back threes from both teams. See how New, Me New Mexico State responds. Going inside. Nope. They get their own rebound. Put back is up, and we have a tie ball game. A lot of early scoring today. Oh, nice drive, but rejected. Oh, nice pass. I was going to shoot that. Oh, they pass this to the wrong guy. They get the ball back, though. Oh, layup. Nope. Ooh, that was such a tough shot. Oregon's coach doesn't look too worried right now. 
Why is the big guy outside? That doesn't make any sense. Fader. Nope. That was a bad shot. The center wasn't even doing anything. He was just standing there. Big guy going in. What a layup. But this this tempo is favoring New Mexico State right now, so they need to take advantage of it quick. Slow down the ball as much as they can. Oh, nice pass inside. Jump shot. It's good. The big guy getting the assist. Both shooting 50% right now. Look at this, the tiny guy goes in. He doesn't get the bucket. One minute left, folks. How is this first half going to end for both teams? Oh, nice drive. And New Mexico State takes the lead. See if Oregon can get some momentum on their side before the half ends. Oh, he bricks it. Gets his own rebound and he misses it. Like I said, this offense, offensive tempo right now is playing to the favor of New Mexico State. Take advantage of it while you can. Nice pick and row. And the shot's up. It's a miss. Center gets the rebound. It's good. They better go quick. Better get a three-point shot. Deep. It's a miss. And New Mexico State goes in the halftime with a four-point lead. Can Oregon orchestrate some offense in the second half and get themselves to move on to the next round? Or will New Mexico State just be too much? We'll find out soon. Oregon is shooting terrible right now at 30%. New Mexico State is shooting pretty well. They need to manage their fatigue, though. It's not looking good on their stamina. They also need to take control of the crowd and take the three. They're, New Mexico State is doing everything correctly. That's why they're leading right now. If they win, honestly, I'm just going to be very shocked because this will be the third straight upset in a row so far. We've had two straight upsets in a row, but not three in this tournament so far. Oh, put him on the ground. Shoot it. Ah, uh, you should have shot it when you had the chance. And they get two points regardless, so it doesn't matter. What a run by New Mexico State right now. Eight nothing run. Hook shot. It's a miss. Oregon better take advantage. No, New Mexico State better take advantage. And they're going to the free throw line. As the Kendrick... LeKendrick has to foul the big guy. And I'm not even going to say that name. I'm just going to butcher it. First free throw is up. It's good. Second one is up. It's a miss. That's okay though. They have, they have uh, points to give up. I mean, they're up by seven. Oregon better figure out something quick. Double team, give it out to your point guard. The small guy, he misses. And New Mexico State, they can take advantage of this while they can. Oh, nice cut. And they are up by nine points. This is getting interesting. Oregon is being put on upset alert. Oregon goes inside. And they get the bucket somehow, some way. 
Oregon fans not giving up on their team just yet. Oh, look at this. Oh, they almost got the steal. They get the rebound. All they need is like a couple three-pointers, and they're back in this game, or even some AM1 buckets to fall. Oh, pass inside. They're going to the free throw line. That's good. Oregon staying aggressive while they can. Jovan Catron going to the free throw line. This could be his last game. Who knows? He makes the first free throw. He does not want his tournament run to end right here to New Mexico State. Doing everything he can to keep Oregon alive. As he makes the second one. Full court pressing. And look at this, the big guy bringing it up the floor. You love to see it, folks. And look at this, he's running the offense. What a sight here, folks. What a sight. Pass inside. It's good, and the bucket's good. Let's see if Oregon can respond in favor. Get some quick buckets to fall for him. They're all bunching together. That's not a good idea. Give this guy somebody to pass to. Oh, wait, he's driving in himself. Foul. No M1. As J Jafar Young, I think that's what his name is. I don't know. I'm not good at pronouncing names. This is why I could not be a commentator. Garrett Smith, Garrett Simba, smoke his three throws, but he redeems himself, makes the first one. Can he make a second one? He can. He is 50% for the day. Full court pressing. Oregon not giving up so quick, but they need things to fall their way. Driving in. It's a miss. Oregon, they could score a quick bucket here. Moving around. Three. Splash. Hold on to your seats, folks. Oregon is just down by two. They're coming back. The big guy send the pick and row. Oh, they get the ball back somehow. And they hit the jump shot. Oregon has less than half a minute and a half left in this game to get to get a string going. The, the five foot six guy trying to make pick and rows. Three! Splash! Uh oh, Oregon is back in this game. Somehow, some way. They're shooting terrible right now, but honestly, it doesn't matter at this point. The big guy with the jump shot. He misses it. Oregon's got the rebound. Oh my gosh, if they come back and win this game, that'll be one of the best comebacks I've ever seen. Because they were down by nine at some point. Going inside. Oh, gets blocked. Jump shot. It's a miss. And New Mexico State has control and Oregon may have to go to the foul situation but the shot clock still on so maybe not yet they get the ball back Oregon has a chance 25 seconds left they don't need a three-point shot just try to get a two pick and row inside it's a goaltending and Oregon is up by two just like that folks Oh my, we are seeing history right now. Oregon is has came back from being in a hole to leading by two by one point. They got themselves out of the hole. This is March Madness for a reason, folks. Stay tuned for the final 16 seconds 
This is about to be interesting. Here we go. Final 16 seconds. What will New Mexico State do? They got to get points real quick. They were up by nine at one point. Fader. It's a miss. They get their own rebound. And they take the lead again. Wow. What a game. And Oregon has to take a timeout. Remember that. New Mexico State was up by nine at one point. And Oregon got themselves back in the game. Took the lead. But then New Mexico State just took it back. Let's see if Oregon can win this game. Here we go. We could be seeing the final shot of the game. Five seconds left. What is Oregon going to do? Take a jump shot. They miss it. New Mexico State wins. What a game. What an upset. Oregon almost came back and won this game. Oh, you got to feel it for Oregon. Coming back and losing the way they did. Oh, that's just heartbreaking. That is really heartbreaking. God bless those kids. You got to feel for them. Feeling that excitement to almost come back and win this game, that's probably going to be on their minds until next season. As New Mexico State moves on, almost losing this game. But, man, you got to feel for Oregon. Having that momentum run and just stringing buckets, I thought they were going to come back and win this game. But New Mexico wins and moves on as they upset the number four seed, Oregon. Man, would you look at this south region of the bracket. This almost looks like it would happen in a video game. Oh, wait. This is a video game. <laughs> but anyways, number six seed Virginia versus 11 seed Cincinnati is the next game that is going to be up in store next time. But, oh, man, this tournament is getting crazy as, as we're rounding out the first round games. We are so close to finishing them out. Let's see how many games we got with. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got 11 games left in the first round, and I'm going to try to break them out as fast as I can just so you guys have something to watch. But the next game is Virginia versus Cincinnati, which should be a very interesting game. So, till next episode, guys, be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit the notifications bell so that way you stay up to date on when the next tournament video comes out. And also, don't forget to check out Superset the 24 channel as well. He recently just passed 5,000 subscribers. He is on the road to 6,000 right now. I think he's at like 5.5 thousand and like 220 or something like that i can't think of the number at the top of my head his channel link will be in the description below i got the inspiration from him to do this type of simulation as well he's also doing the simulation over on his channel so be sure to check out his simulation and subscribe to his channel to see how his results turn out as well so till next video guys have an awesome day and i will see you all later